this is Kim from Kids Draw for Fun. Welcome back. Today we're going to draw a leprechaun in celebration of St. Patrick's Day. So let's dive right in. Get your colored pencils, your pencils, your markers ready, and let's draw. So to start our drawing of the leprechaun, which is going to be a very big head and a very small body. I'm going to start close to the center of my page. So here I go, right in the middle. I'm going to make a pretty big U shape, and that's going to be for the leprechaun's head. A nice big U. Trying to keep it even on both sides. If you find that one side is a little bit longer, you can go ahead and extend the other side to equal the same thing. Okay. Now, before we move on to more of the face, we're actually going to get ready for the hat. The top hat of the leprechaun, we're going to leave a little bit of space where we just left off our U shape, and we're going to draw a nice big curve going from the left to the right. I'm going to extend it out a little bit beyond the head. Curve line, and there we go. On top of that curved line, I'm going to draw two other uh, vertical lines going straight up. That's going to be for the top of the leprechaun's hat. And I'm going to draw these lines right above where that face line was. So going up from here, I'm going to draw a straight line towards the top of my page. And another straight line towards the top of my page. To complete the top of that hat, I'm going to draw another curved line following the bottom curve here, but instead I'm going to attach the top of the hat, left to right. Right inside of that, I'm going to add a buckle by drawing yet another curved line. And inside of that, I'm going to make a little rectangle or a square, your choice, by drawing two lines up and down, and another little rectangle or square inside of that. That's the buckle of the leprechaun's hat. Now the reason why we left some space in between here is because we're going to add the leprechaun's hair. And I'm going to choose to add some curly hair. To do that, I'm going to draw a bunch of different curved lines that attach in different sizes some are bigger, some are smaller. You can make the curly hair look however you'd like. We're going to go all the way to the other side and end it right there. To finish the hat, we're going to go to both edges where we left off and curve it back in towards the back of the leprechaun's head. So I'm going to go to the rim of the hat and curve it back in there. Same thing on this side. Go to the rim of the hat and curve it back in there. Great job. Now let's get onto our leprechaun's little face. I'm gonna to choose to draw two really big eyes on either side of the leprechaun's face, trying to make my circles as close in size as I can. So right over here, I'm going to draw one nice big circle. And right over here, I'm going to draw a circle of the same size. Within each circle, I'm going to draw a little U shape, just like this. Kind of looks like a half moon, it's upside down. And inside of each of those shapes, I'm going to draw three vertical lines. Three vertical lines. When it comes time to color this in, that will be the colored part of your leprechaun's eye. Then I'm going to go inside of the circle and draw another little circle within. That's going to be the shine mark in my leprechaun's eyes. Now I know that looks a little bit creepy right now, but once we get to the coloring part, it won't look so bad. The next thing I'm going to choose to do is add my leprechaun's mouth. For this cartoon, I'm not going to put a nose in, but you can if you'd like. I'm going to go right in between the eyes and draw a cute little smile. 
Right next to that smile, I'm going to draw three dots for some freckles. I can also go above each eye and add a little tiny hill, which will be the eyebrow, just like that. And the last thing that I'm going to add to my leprechaun's face is a little beard. I'm going to choose to make my beard curly like the hair. So it's going to be in the shape of an ice cream cone, but instead of straight lines, I'm going to choose to draw little curvy lines. Starting at the top of my ice cream cone, and then making my curls come in a little bit skinnier for the bottom of that ice cream cone shape. And there's our leprechaun's face. The only thing that he's missing are some ears on either side of the head. So I'm going to go right here to the left side and draw a C shape. And on the other side, I'm going to draw a backwards C shape. If you'd like to add some more detail inside of the leprechaun's ears, you can either draw another little C shape and a backwards C shape, or you can draw a line going inwards and then a hop out. A line going inwards and a hop out. For the bottom of my leprechaun or his body, I'm going to make a really silly part of my cartoon. I like to call this a jelly bean baby because the body looks like a jelly bean while the head looks like this big old cartoon. I'm going to go right underneath the beard and draw an oval shape. Make sure when you do that, you leave some space at the bottom. I'm gonna scooch my paper up so you can see. You're gonna leave a little bit of space at the bottom for the little feet of the leprechaun, which will come in just a moment. Inside of this body, I'm going to draw another little U shape, or we can go straight across to make the leprechaun's pants. I'm gonna go straight across this time. Right underneath the leprechaun's chin, I'm going to draw a series or a group of triangle shapes. This is going to be for the collar of the leprechaun's shirt. Starting in this corner, where the shoulder meets the chin, I'm going to draw a longer pointed shape connected to a shorter shape. You should land right in the middle of the leprechaun's body. In fact, you can draw a line straight down to the pants. Then do the same thing on the other side. Starting where the shoulder connects with the chin, a longer pointed shape, and a shorter pointed shape. If you'd like, you can add some circles or dots for buttons. One, two, three. Another detail that I'm going to add is some pockets on my leprechaun's pants. I can do this by just drawing some backwards curved lines on either side of the pants. And the last thing that I'm going to choose to draw on my jelly bean baby is a little tiny hand over here, kind of looks like a paw and another tiny little hand over here, as well as two little feet on the bottom. And there you have it. Your little leprechaun is done. The next thing we have to do is the fun part, which is to color. Make sure you go ahead and pause this video anytime you need a break or you need to catch up with one of the instructions. Now would be a good time to do that before you start coloring. Today, I like to start with my lighter colors so that if I do go over at all, the colors won't bleed into one another. So I'm going to start with the tan color of my leprechaun's skin. You can go with any skin tone that you'd like. Whenever you're coloring, it's always a good idea to color in the same direction. That way you don't have lines going in all different uh, directions on your page.
to color in the ears, hands, and feet. Now that I have my skin tone colored in, I'm going to continue to color uh, by starting from the top and going down towards the bottom. Now I'm not going to do my black top hat yet, I'm going to save that for last because it is the darkest color with black. The next thing I'm going to color is the brown buckle. I have the buckle strap right here. And don't forget the little space inside of the actual buckle should be the same color as the strap. I'm going to use a yellow color for the actual buckle, goldish yellow. And for my leprechaun's hair, I'm going to use a nice bright orange. going to go ahead and color his beard the same orange color as his hair. For my leprechaun's eyes I'm going to go with a light blue color but once again please choose any color that suits you. Green is a very popular color on St. Patrick's Day, so I'm going to choose this nice bright lime green for my leprechaun's shirt. Then for his pants, I'm going to go with a darker brown. Almost there. The last color that we need for our leprechaun is the black. I'm going to do the hat in black as well as the pupils of my character's eyes. Don't forget to color the insides of the hat, the same color that you use on the top of the hat. Mine was black, but once again you could choose a different color. Now if you're choosing to make a girl leprechaun, you can go ahead and add some eyelashes on the sides of the eye. I'm also going to add some rosy cheeks in just a minute. Make sure when you're coloring in this part of the leprechaun's eye that you avoid that smaller circle that we drew in the middle. You can see that's really popping now. Some last minute details. On the ends of my leprechaun's mouth, I'm going to put little happy caps to show he's really smiling. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a rosy cheek over his freckles by using some light pink and working in little circles. And there you have it, your little leprechaun. Remember if you want to add a background to your pictures, you're always welcome to do that. 
Some great ideas for this one could be some four leaf clovers, a pot of gold, or a nice bright shining rainbow. Thank you for joining us again on Kids Draw for Fun. If you like this video of our little leprechaun, please feel free to give it a thumbs up below, or you can ask a parent to subscribe to our channel by clicking the red button below. If you have any ideas of things that we can draw in the future, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Until next time, keep drawing. See you later.